Hi everyone, I'm Kara Suboy. And I'm Patrick Wickstrom. And welcome to Junos Connect, your one-stop shop for all things Junos. As many of you know, we talk a lot about Junos certifications. Mm -hmm. On today's show, we're going to answer the question, is it worth it? That's right, we're going to talk to some Juniper employees and a customer. They're all certified, but we want to find out what it's done for them. We're also going to show you how to simplify your life. Juniper engineer Vibhu Pratap is here to take us step-by-step -step through a revolutionary new way to simplify workflows. But first, it's time for your email. And this month's email comes via a tweet from Junos lover Meglu. What resources do you have for studying for service provider certification exams? We have lots of materials and resources for you, regardless if you're in an enterprise or service organization. Just visit the resources link in the training and certification page on Juno Central. Do you ever wish that you could totally overhaul today's approach to network management? Well, coming up next, the Juno Space Team will show us the software that will truly change how you manage your network. Hey there, Junos community. We want to hear from you. We want to know what you think about Junos Connect, Junos Central, and the Juniper community. Email us or post your questions and thoughts in the comments area of any of our social media properties. Remember, this is your community and this is your show. Hello and welcome back to Junos Connect, your video source for all things Junos. I'm Kara Suboy. And I'm Patrick Wickstrom. And joining us today is Vibhu Pratap, staff engineer from Juniper Networks, and he's here to show us how to simplify your workflow. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, what, what exactly is Juno Space in, in a sentence or two? It's a Web 2.0 network management platform. This is the first time a company has introduced this kind of a platform in the marketplace. Yeah, I was going to say, you typically don't hear those phrases together, Web 2.0 and network management. But you guys found a way to combine this. Well, Web 2.0 is all about your interaction with the browser, just like you're having an interaction with me. All right, so this is the home page you're looking at, right, Vibhu? That is correct. OK, and what's the first step? So what we're going to demo is an Ethernet activator application. This oh, is the real. This yeah. guy right here? Yeah. OK, so I'm going to click on him. Yes. Where am I going from here? So all you have to do is go, go to the service provisioning uh, screen. Ah, up here at the top left? Yes. OK. Give that a click. And then you ma create go to Manage Service Orders. Uh, so this one? That is correct. So far, pretty easy to use. It I is. I like the layout. I like the interface. This is, this is clean. Yeah. So uh, you go to Create VPLS Service Order. OK. And we, what we have here is a catalog of the best practices Juniper asks their customers to follow. What we are going to do is pick up one of those particular best practices and enable a service. So they're almost like templates that you, templates. Just, you choose from, so you don't have to create a new one every single time. That is true. OK, so should we just choose this first just one? Just choose the first one okay, and, and then hit Next. Down here. Right. Ah. So here you, you, have to gi you have to give a name to it. After me or after you? After you. OK. Call this one Kara. And who's the customer? So the customer, there are a bunch of oh, customers already so created. Show. Very nice. <laughs> Junos Connect. Junos Connect. All right. And select the bunch of devices on which you want the service to be active. So we have three choices. So you can select all three. All three? Because it's a multi-point service. OK. Ajax, Jocasta, and Penelope. And yeah. you shop on the right. OK, easy. Yeah. Hmm. And then you next hit again. next. This is making sense. Mm -hmm. And you've got a bunch of default information. So if you're happy with it, go ahead and create one. Now, how long, if I were doing this like the old fashioned way, how long would this take? I think it will take approximately three hours for a uh, Juniper expert to create these things that we are doing right oh. now. All right, so we've got some deployment options. Right. So Save, you just go ahead and deploy, deploy now. Deploy now, OK. Hit OK. Just OK. And a job is created in the back end. You just click on the job, and you will, that will hmm. take you. So our job number? Yes. Wow, this is fast. Yeah. And then you double Most click on the job. Double click on this guy over here yes. on the left. Thanks, Vibhu. Now, how do we find out more information about Juno Space? All you need to do is go under the Products and Services section on Juniper.net. Well, want to set yourself apart from the rest? Stick around after the break. We'll hear from some Juniper customers and system engineers who swear by the simple way to upgrade your career. There are a lot of buzzwords out there like scale, data center centralization, cloud. Dean Sheffield and Colin Constable of Juniper are going to make sense out of those buzzwords. On February 18th, we're having a webcast. It's on how to build private clouds by deploying virtualization across data centers. We're going to talk about how to look at your data centers as a single unit 
how to maximize the value of virtualization and cut server and fiber costs, how a VPLS solution can facilitate VMware migrations between data centers, and how all of this can make it easier to connect to and deliver cloud services. We'll even do a Juno Space demo. As usual, seats are limited, so register now at juniper.net slash junos. And if you can't make it, it'll be archived at the same web address. Hello and welcome back to Junos Connect. I'm Kara Suboy. Getting Juno certified in today's economy is a great way to upgrade your resume, build your personal brand, and become a more valuable asset to your business. Earlier today, I sat down with Mike Coker, a senior network engineer from SanDisk, to hear what getting certified has done for him. Now, Mike, before we get started talking about the certification, can you just tell me quickly what SanDisk does and what you do for them? SanDisk is basically considered the leader in uh, flash memory cards. And what is your role with the company? I'm a network engineer, so I handle both the LAN and WAN uh, infrastructure. And I understand you have a, a whole number of Juno certifications. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know about a whole number, but <laughs> yeah, it was worked a out fairly here. well. Yeah. Um, I've got the JNCIA-Junos uh, was the first certification I got. Uh, the JNCIA-EX for the EX switching, and then the JNCIS-SEC okay. for the and security. What was your motivation to want to become certified? Uh, when I started at SanDisk, I was, uh, it was a six-month contract, so it was done after six months. The very tail end of that six-month contract, wasn't sure if I was going to get extended or not based on budget restraints and stuff like that. Sure. So um, I basically wound up taking those classes and taking those certifications to kind of help me uh, in my job search, which actually helped because um, I started applying at a bunch of different places uh, at the tail end of that six-month contract. And I probably interviewed uh, close to a dozen different places. And I actually had a, f a few different offers on the table. And then Sandus came back and offered me full-time employment. So. Oh, that's great. Now, I, there must be team members who are not certified. What kind of advice do you give them? Do you encourage them to get certified? Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. And um, you know, a couple of the team members in my group went to these classes. And, um, and some of them didn't wind up taking the test. And uh, I told them afterwards, I'm like, you guys need to take these tests. It's uh, very straightforward as far as the questions and answers that uh, Juniper provides. And, um, and the testing program actually worked out really well. Well, thank you so much, Mike, for being here, and best of luck to you at SanDisk. Thank you. Appreciate it. Joining me in the studio are Dan Backman and Ken Tran, two Junos certified Juniper engineers. Tell me, what do you guys do here at Juniper? I'm a solution uh, architect. I'm working in the uh, solution engineering team. Nice. And how about you, Dan? What do you do here? So I work with large enterprise customers up and down the West Coast. So I'm effectively a consulting engineer for our own systems engineers here in the uh, sales side. So we've got the same title of engineers, but you guys clearly do very different things. But you're both certified, Juno certified. Ken, why don't you start and tell me a little bit about that process, why you decided to get certified, and you know if it's been of a benefit to you. Yes, thank you. Actually, I have a very uh, big background in Cisco. I'm actually the CCIE certified in routing switching for Cisco. So when I moved to Juniper, uh, for me, in, able to, in order to able to transfer all the uh, knowledge I have from Cisco to Juniper, uh, the fastest way for me was using the certification and especially the uh, fast track program mm -hmm. that's really helped for a professional like me that has the background in networking and transfer that knowledge to Junos. And how about you, Dan? Uh, why did you decide to get certified? How long ago was that? Well, it took a while. Uh, I originally really didn't believe in certification. I worked at another vendor before this, and I did not purposely get a CCIA. I didn't work with Cisco, and I felt it was sort of very vendor-focused. But in my contacts with people from Juniper, I had always had an amazing respect for the people at Juniper, for the technical expertise. And I had run into a lot of people who actually had the JNCIE certification. And it honestly, even before I came to Juniper, that certification actually meant a lot more to me than what I had seen from Cisco. So that was the motivation then to become Juno certified. Yeah, absolutely. It was mm -hmm. every person that I'd run into with the Juniper certification was absolutely brilliant. And I wanted to basically prove that I could be up to that level. Now t talk to me about the day-to-day -day usefulness of being certified. Do you see this prove itself day in, day out? Or are we talking more on a big career, big focus level? It's something where you don't really appreciate it until you go through it. Okay. And so getting up to the level of a, of a JNCIE, one of the things you actually have to do is get in the lab and actually do it. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of the point where you have to be able to do it without thinking about it and really just understand it. And it's something that as much as you think you understand the technology, actually going through the process of studying for and getting the certification really brings you up to a different technical level that you may not have been at before, no matter how much you thought you knew about it. And obviously it'll take your career to the next level. With, here's hoping, right? <laughs> Thanks, guys, so much for joining us in studio. 
That's it for this episode. For Patrick Wickstrom, I'm Kara Suboy. We'll see you next time right here on Juno's Connect. <laughs>